Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So I'm going to preface this video by saying that in a few hours, I'm also going to be uploading the sketch to finish version of this particular illustration, meaning that I'll have minimal cuts. It'll show the full process from literally start to finish of the illustration that I'm going to be doing today, just because I did record it for that purpose, but I thought that some people might like a condensed version with a little bit more of my thoughts in like voiceover mode rather than just purely through text. So I am using a different editing program, so there might be a little bit of difference in terms of formatting for just videos in general. So we'll see how this goes. So for today's uh, draw with me, I also decided to leave in the sound of the kind of like the Apple Pencil scraping across the iPad screen. So I do apologize if it's a little bit more uh, noisy or a little distracting. Do let me know if you guys prefer kind of having it with sound or without. I can definitely make some with sound um, every so often, but for the most part, I'm probably going to record it without sound because I probably find it a little bit distracting, but we'll see. So for today's illustration or drawing, I wanted to draw Kafka or Kafka, I think it's Kafka from Honkai Star Rail. And the reason being is that I believe by the time this video goes up she should be released on the same day so if you're going to be summoning for her and pulling for her good luck with that and if you're not then i guess continue saving in honkai star rail i guess um i'm personally am going to be skipping her i'm waiting for i guess like the next few banners if anything i want the other don hung don fung kind of version a lot because i think he's really pretty and i think it looks really cool so that is who i'm going to be patiently waiting for so uh now that i kind of breeze through the rough sketch i am going to be moving on to my cleaner sketch and i'll kind of talk about the process just a little bit so i did do a lot of kind of like thumbnailing and just like pose sketches for today's drawing in general and I did that all in my sketchbook. I didn't show it in the footage for today just because I didn't really have my sketchbook propped up or shown while I was actually working on it. I just had the pose and everything in my brain for now. And the reason being is that I think if you've seen any of like kind of like the more recent drawings in my iPad or in Procreate, there's like a particular kind of pose and kind of a vibe that I was looking for to do for an illustration but I've always somehow like botched it up or I went into a different direction or I just changed the composition and I think the best example of that would probably be, be my Kaya drawing so if you watched my start to finish for Kaya in his new skin there was two attempts of me drawing that particular drawing and I had him in a more kind of like lounging kind of sitting in some kind of chair or some kind of object that you can sit upon and just kind of you know kind of have a more confident but kind of laid back pose and I wanted to have the composition to have some kind of floral or foliage in it alongside with just like some kind of drapery or curtain so that is what I'm going to be doing today and I feel like for the most part it kind of hit the check marks for me in terms of what I wanted for this illustration so hopefully I will finally abandon this concept for like a later date so I don't keep trying to attempt this for like every character that I tend to draw that has a little bit more of that confidence or that little bit more of a sly nature if anything so I did do the planning of the the pose and a little bit of the composition and everything kind of with a larger brush so the brush i used was usually my brush that i kind of use for painting and coloring so because the brush is a lot larger it's easier for me to just cover a little bit more ground and i don't have the the need or the want to do detail at that kind of point because it's just kind of there for me to allow myself to kind of just plan and chunk in the pose quickly before moving on to the cleaner sketch now i can say that i feel like this illustration took me a little bit longer because i did take my time sketching kafka a little bit more with detail just because we are not working with just a simple headshot kind of or bust up kind of portraiture if that makes sense i wanted to include a little bit more of her outfit and just because it gives me a little bit more option to 
play around with the pose and the composition. And the size of the canvas that I'm using is actually like an A4 size rather than the A5 size, just because I wanted something a little bit wider compared to something a little bit taller. And it just makes my lines look a little bit less crunchy because I'm not zooming in drawing such a tiny figure. So for the sketching process, after I was finished with the rough sketch and blocking things in for the composition or just like placement of things, I moved on to the clean sketch, which is what I'm currently working on. And this allows me to use just like a little bit less of like guidelines. It kind of allows me to make sure that things remain fairly clean so that when we do end up doing the coloring and stuff, it's just much easier for me to work with. So for the pose, um, like I said, I wanted to her to have, kind of be lounging similarly to how I've drawn, I think, the Kaya attempt. And at some point I did shrink down my, or not shrink down, I actually enlarged the pose so that certain parts of the limbs and just the pose itself gets cut off a little bit more because it makes it seem a little bit less empty on the sides it feels a little bit less deliberate that i'm trying to avoid the edges where her body is kind of touching so for me it feels like a little bit better this way i think it was also smarter for me to size up because i am drawing something that it's not just the bust up i wanted to include more of the body like i mentioned earlier um, but if you're interested in watching like the full process of me working on this piece literally like you want to see in real time how long I take doing the rough or how long I take doing the extra sketching portion, which I think in total took close to two hours. Um, so I spent a lot of time just fiddling around, but I think that inc also includes the, the rough colors or the background colors uh, together with it. And then after that, I think, let's see, I think I spent two hours doing the rough sketch, the sketch and the background. And then the next hour or so, I spent doing the rough colors and the last two hours I spent mostly doing the rendering and cleanup, which kind of totals up to an, like five hours of work for the most part. I know Procreate's gonna have probably a little bit more just because there are some small things I did have to cut out for sound purposes and stuff. So there's kind of just that here and there. So um, I think that's it for process and we kind of caught up to where I am. I'm just basically sketching things out. I've also changed the pose for her hand to be a little bit larger, but also like pointing kind of. So I don't know if it really matches too, too well, but for, I don't know. I, I just ended up doing that anyways. So whatever. Um, for, for the most part, Kafka's outfit's pretty neat. It's pretty also simple to draw for the most part because it's mostly kind of like button-up shirt, kind of high-waisted shorts, some tights, a boot on one leg and heels on the other, and then she has like a jacket. But the one thing I wanted to make sure is that her kind of waist area and her shorts, I wanted to make sure that I drew that properly. So for some of the belts on the bottom of the shorts, I did end up going back into my rough sketch, adding a light layer of purple to kind of help me plan out where the belts were so that I don't lose the form because sometimes when I draw accessories on top of clothing and I don't remember about like the volume of the body it reads kind of flat so I wanted to make sure that when I was drawing in the belts I wanted to follow the same curvature of her thighs or of her legs so that they don't read too flat so for the rest of the drawing portion I wanted to to kind of add, like I said, some kind of foliage or flowers, which I have right here. And then I wanted to add some kind of drapery or like a curtain. So behind the curtain, I wanted to draw black dahlias, which I thought visually kind of fit Kafka's uh, aesthetic. It's kind of more black, a deep kind of reddish purple color near some of the areas, but also, I don't know, I believe it has some negative connotations of like betrayal and there's like one other trait, but even though like I don't think it 100% meets like Kafka's entire like demeanor or like her character, I just thought mostly aesthetically it kind of fits. And I drew this before her trailer came out, and I believe in the trailer she actually has been a little bit more associated probably with red roses, which is what I think is seen her. 
I think it's like when she's shooting her gun and there's like petals kind of around. I believe it's like rose petals. So I kind of wish I did roses and maybe black dahlias together or somehow incorporate some kind of like bouquet of flowers somewhere rather than just doing the black dahlias kind of peeking through this little curtain. And then initially I was going to also add in the black dollies in the front similar to how I drew Kaya's composition where I had flowers in the back kind of like next to him and behind him and then I had like a bigger bouquet kind of cutting into the front but for this one I decided not to and you'll see why because I feel like it's going to get a little bit more busier as we move along with the coloring. So for the background coloring I went ahead and went with more of a neutral tone and then I went to add more kind of like a deep darker purple because I wanted to match the flowers a little bit closely. But after that, I decided to overlay a few layers of just overlay layers to adjust the colors to fit a more cohesive color palette of just different kinds of like cooler purples, some warmer purples and all that because Kafka is very much kind of this reddish violet color plus like she's this like reddish violet burgundy-ish color. It's like her hair color plus her outfit, which is mostly black and white. So I kind of wanted to incorporate to make sure that color looks correct with what I want her environment to look like. So that's kind of what I did. The black dahlias, like I kind of like the colors that I mentioned earlier, plus kind of more of a darker, rich purple for the center. And then I knew that I didn't want to spend too much time on the black dahlias because they're kind of a pain to render each individual petal. So I am going to be blurring the background as usual. Um, I know it's kind of like a crutch at this point. One day I will spend more time working on a background properly. I just don't like drawing anything that has like, I don't know what it's called. Um, like a certain kind of structure to it. I feel like fabrics, like fabric is kind of fine and like usually generic landscape is probably fine for me too. But anything that has a little bit more of that architectural structure, I kind of fail in that aspect a lot. So in the future, I would like to attempt more of something like that so that I can fiddle around a little bit more with the environment. Oh, I should have probably mentioned this earlier as well is that throughout the video, I'm not sure if it's going to be that apparent when I'm doing the cuts in this portion is that sometimes her skin or her shirt or any lighter areas are going to look very blown out and some of the darker areas, let's say her boots, her shorts, the background might get super dark and I'm going to be fiddling with the gain and the brightness setting on my iPad to make sure that you guys can see different parts a little bit more clearly because when I'm working on, let's say, her black jacket or her black shorts, I'm going to raise the brightness a lot higher so you guys can see uh, that rather than... Oh, yeah, it was also raining when I was recording, so you might hear a little bit of thunder here and there. Um, but yeah, if I'm working on darker areas, the lighter areas are going to look really blown out. And if I'm working on lighter areas, the dark areas might appear to be like some kind of black void. So I do apologize that I can't balance it to be 100% visible at all times for both sides. Um, but yeah, let's talk about the coloring a little bit. So I decided to start with Kafka's skin and I color it as normal. I'm focusing on shadows, a little bit of highlights, and for the most part, um, I'm adding some kind of purpley colors to her skin as well. And then for her tights for her legs, I colored her legs as normal. And then I added a multiply layer on top to kind of tint, or I guess not, not tint, add a shade, I guess, to her her legs so it looks kind of like tights material which kind of becomes like this deeper darker color so that's what I did to kind of emulate that after that we worked on the hair so I don't usually become too precious about keeping the skin super duper clean but once I do lay down any kind of section for let's say hair or for skin I try to alpha lock it so alpha locking will allow me to make sure that I'm staying within the borders of where I have already laid down color and then I can kind of freely shade and add highlight to certain parts without worrying about too much like bleed through between different areas. So after that, we are working on the eyes. And for the eyes, um, I had a bit of a hard time thinking on how I wanted to color and render them. Right now, they're not the right color. So I'm, I'm going to make them a little bit more of that pinkish kind of 
more violet-ish color so it kind of matches her character but the the issue that I was kind of running is that or I was going to run into is that in her official art and I believe her character model her eyes appear very like one solid color kind of thing with like I guess like the edges being a little bit more darker but it's very hard to see any kind of semblance of like a pupil in the middle but be for me I, I kind of wanted the pupil to be present because I feel like the character will look a little bit I don't know it's a little bit harder to read for myself and I added the highlight in but I have seen different fan arts of Kafka and people just put in the pupil for her eyes so I don't think it's too too off um but you know, maybe I'll do some experimenting and feeling uh, how I feel about different eye styles for something like a character like this where it seems like they don't really have like a dark pupil. Um, I know there's a lot of characters that have that or like they have maybe a white eye color so maybe the pupil just becomes not as dark or like as apparent. So, you know, is this some things that maybe I want to experiment if I don't want to stray too far away from how the character was made or like how the character actually looks like in their official art. So for the coloring, it was pretty straightforward for the most part. So after I finish the eyes, I start to kind of section off the clothing. So usually if I'm planning out this correctly, I pick the clothing that's kind of like on the most innard and then work my way outwards so that I'm slowly layering up colors so that as we work outwards I'm becoming a little bit more particular and a little bit more cleaner with my application of the base color so that like I said we want to kind of approach it to be a little bit cleaner as we kind of finish up filling in the rest of the areas for the clothing. So I did do the majority of the shading and uh, like adding the different colors and hues and stuff to the shirt, which is like the white part. And then after that, I did her jacket. I'm doing her shorts as well. And then I will tackle like the boots, the gloves and the belts around the same time because it just the order is a little bit easier for myself to approach it in that way. But uh, for the most part during this portion of what I consider my rough coloring. I know a lot of people might not consider this rough coloring because I do plan out the shadows and a lot of the highlights at this point, but because it's not like super clean in my opinion, I do consider it still my rough, but I am trying to pay attention to where I am adding like shadows. I want to have the majority of the hues and the colors that I want plus the values before I end up like merging my layers and then having to render and clean up at the end. It just makes things a lot quicker and a lot easier. And I do like how this brush lays down color. You can get like really solid kind of more um, harsher edges but if you use like a larger brush or in a lighter touch you can get more of like that airbrushy look which is like something I prefer to have the versatility of a brush to do um, but before we head into the rendering and cleanup I am changing the color of the my sketch and I'm basically doing that by alpha locking my sketch and then coloring only my sketch lines to be a little bit more softer and closer to the color of the already placed down colors for my rough colors. After that, I am going to be merging my sketch with the rest of the colors. So that's kind of into one layer. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I do kind of like my lighting that I want to do for this piece. So initially I wasn't gonna put Kafka into like a darker, um, moodier lighting, but I decided last minute that I was gonna do that. And in this case, I added a multiply layer. I'm adding a bunch of different kind of like grayish purples as kind of like the base tone. And then for highlights this time, I'm mostly going to be chipping away the multiply layer by erasing and allowing myself to have the highlights this way just because in general the way that I colored Kafka was already very bright so I don't think I really need to intensify the highlights too too much around the edges. So I'm doing a very simple kind of softer rim lighting towards the left side and then I have just basically her in a little bit more of a cooler kind of uh shadow but i am going to change it in a little bit and i'll explain why after i finish adding some foreground and background elements so for the uh these little streaks of lights or laser lights i guess would be maybe the best way to explain it is that uh because i filmed the first portion of this before the trailer came out 
I actually forgot about her ult or her like her ultimate for whatever I guess how to explain it her ultimate so uh, basically she has like these lasers and she's firing her gun and I do like the look of these kind of glowing thin spider web like laser lines that kind of were in her trailer it's also in her ultimate so I wanted to incorporate that into the illustration too which is why um, at some point I did abandon the flowers in the front and that's because I watched the trailer afterwards. So that kind of influenced a few choices that I had for this illustration. So including the laser lines and then later on I'm going to add in red petals because I feel like that suits her a little bit better than the black dahlias. But I'm not going to get rid of the black dahlias just because aesthetics I guess. So after that I will merge all my blend mode layers like color adjustment layers and everything down back onto the layer that has just the sketch and the colors for Kafka. And then we can go ahead and start to actually render. So rendering and cleanup is the most time consuming for myself. I think, like I said, I spent about two hours probably rendering and finishing up her illustration. So for the most part, when I mean by rendering, I am basically bringing it up to a certain finish. I am cleaning up different lines and making certain things sharper and making things a little bit more clear. But then for some of my other lines, I'm just kind of getting rid of. So that could be like stray lines and hopefully majority of the stray lines are either very faint or if I spent time before I merged my sketch to actually erase them so that they're not too apparent. Oh, this is actually one of my favorite parts. So I like doing this kind of pattern of streaks, of like usually a giant streak and a smaller streak next to it for the glasses. And I do this a lot for like reflective highlights and stuff for people's like glasses. But for her sunglasses, I decided to do it this way because it just felt a little bit uh, better of a highlight than how I initially sketched it out, which felt very weird. And I do like how the colors play off with kind of like her purple kind of uh, black tones up there just because it feels a little bit more sunset ish and I forgot to touch upon this earlier so before I merged all my layers I did add one last overlay layer on top of Kafka and I made it significantly warmer than what I initially had it so looking back on the footage the cooler kind of more grayish blue tone that I initially had over her and kind of had that to set her kind of in the atmosphere and the environment a little bit better. It fit nicely, but I ended up taking a photo for Thread. So it's, that's like the Instagram, Twitter app kind of thing. And when I was looking at the photo, it appeared a lot warmer because my phone automatically has like that blue light filter on. And I actually really liked what it looked like with that warmth. So I decided to put that overlay layer and kind of adjust it to what I wanted, which was to for the entire piece to be a little bit warmer. And that's kind of why this kind of piece appears, I guess, like probably a little bit different than the previous cuts that I had earlier. So yeah, I probably should have explained that a little bit earlier before getting fully into like the rendering stuff. But um, I don't know. I was kind of thinking like moving forward, I might do bonus videos of similar footage kind of thing. So it's like if I do a draw with me and I had the chance to record maybe the full session with sound, maybe I can either make it into a ASMR video too for people who have that preference or make it into the start to finish. Cause I would like to get back into making a start to finish maybe every month or so, so that people can still see the full progress and kind of get a little bit more of a in real time understanding of how I make choices or how long I actually take to do, like kind of do an illustration. Cause I feel like the ASMR videos or even, I think it's more so the ASMR videos rather than the, draw with me videos that people have a big misconception that they think that I draw under 40 minutes and that's obviously not true. I tend to cut down footage. I think in the earlier days when I did majority of my ASMR videos, they were about an hour and a half to two hours maybe. And then as I started to draw a lot more and I wanted to add more detailing and I became a little bit more meticulous with my digital painting, I kind of stretched it to be a lot longer, which makes, uh, I don't know if 
it makes it harder for people to watch the start to finish videos just because they're at a kind of like a weird length because i feel like two maybe two three hours might be a little bit more digestible if you're willing to watch um someone's full process but five hours i feel like is a little bit it's a little bit much but i do appreciate the people who do take time to either watch it or just like watch sections of it so i'll do my best to make sure i section them off so that people do have the timestamps to jump to wherever they need but if not if you're not interested in those kinds of videos you can definitely just wait for me to post usually the draw with me which usually is condensed into half an hour um which hopefully is a little bit more digestible than the like hour to five hour different versions I have of the start to finish and any kind of like keep me company video or the kind of traditional ASMR ones that I, I've been doing because I definitely like making the long formatted ones. They're kind of fun because even like sometimes when I revisit my own like videos to just reference some stuff either like formatting or maybe i wanted to see how i edited or used a certain kind of material or medium it's nice to see it in real time and seeing my approach to it um so i would like to do another one um with some other traditional mediums like markers pretty soon probably so hopefully i'll get time to do that i think uh, for Saturday's video, it might be an ASMR video, um, but it's more focused on traditional and colored pencils and stuff, which I really enjoyed the sound of, so hopefully I can continue filming that and get that ready for Saturday. So if you guys enjoy also the bonus video that will come out um, in a few hours, which will be the start to finish version of this Kafka drawing. Um, and then last but not least, I did the petals. I added a Gaussian blur, a little bit of motion blur as well, and then I decided to select everything, put them into a group. I'm also duplicating the group and then flattening that group so that I kind of have a flat image of Kafka, which then I will Gaussian blur up to a certain amount. And then I will use the eraser to kind of bring back certain parts of Kafka, Kafka into focus. So that is kind of the finished illustration of Kafka. And yeah, here's a quick time lapse, but I'll probably leave you guys here with just music and you can watch the actual time lapse at the very end with probably more accurate colors to your screen uh, rather than seeing it via my kind of webcam, which is probably warping the colors to a certain extent. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's drawing and video and I'll talk to you guys next time in the next one. Bye.